I almost oh so when we talked about the Raptors last podcast I made a clip I like cropped it and like made a clip and put it on YouTube and stuff and it got like a lot of attention like a lot of people were like listening and like it was probably one of my most probably one of the most like viewed podcast videos ever on like on mine and Toronto? so yeah we were talking about Toronto for like 10 minutes uh, and uh, it why, got like a lot they... of attention and like I think it's they have just have a huge cult following and I think they they appreciated there's like four comments on it it was like we appreciate your non-American um no your American outlook on the Raptors there's this weird thing with the Raptor fans where like they think if you hate the Raptors, you're just like, un- yeah, like you're just too American. Like you just you just don't like them because they're in Canada. Which yeah. like someone was like, if, tr- if Toronto Raptors were like an American team, everybody would love them and stuff like that. But I was like, I don't think so. It's just like I was like, no one think thought the Raptors were going to be the two seed. Like at best, everyone thought there would be a five to seven seed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, might as well talk about it again. I don't know. Just like <laughs> they like liked them, I like, like that clip. So I was just like, they were just making a big deal about how, um, how did y'all not think the Raptors were not going to be a top three team in the East? Like no one thought that. Nobody thought. No that. one thought that. So no. y'all, I, mean, I remember. I will always remember this. Talking to you and Kyle whenever Kawhi signed with the Raptors. Or got straight, excuse me. And y'all were downstairs on the couch, and you're like, how far do you think the Raptors can go? And I said, they can win the title. And y'all laughed at me. Wait, this was after Kawhi? After the Kawhi trade, y'all were like, Toronto ain't winning the, the chip. You said that? Yes. I, I did firmly, not. <laughs> I, I put that on everything. I will, I will put you and Kyle in a group message, and I'll be like, Kyle knows. What? Um... No, that's – yeah, that's crazy. I thought there was just going to be, like – since the East is, like, a, like pretty bad after, like, the sixth seed, like, a solid six to eight seed. I thought there was going to be that. And so, um, no. Um, one of the comments that was – we talked about Kyle Lowry as a Hall of Famer. Someone was, like, six-time All-Star, franchise leader in assists, leader of three-time Atlantic Division champs. <laughs> in NBA. So I was like, I was like, no one cares about the division. I'm like, why'd you throw that in there? An NBA champion, Kyle Lowry is a Hall of Famer. I was like, man, it's just, I just never thought. Um, it's just like, if you'd asked me any of this stuff last April of 2019, I would have just been like, stop this. Like, ever it's like. You know, April of 2019, they were a joke. Lebronto. It was Lebronto. It was literally that trash. And it's just amazing how much of a turn a franchise made in just 12 months. Like, well, yeah, that's crazy. They, their run to the postseason was, like, insane. Like, they beat the Magic in five games. They had that seven-game series with the uh, Sixers that ended in the Kawhi legendary moment. And then they were down 0-2 to the Bucks. came back and won four straight. And then they beat the Warriors. It's like, that's just as good as a title run as 2011. Yeah, seriously. Like, it's like the 2011 Mavs, but, like, they have a future. Like, they have a lot. They kept all their guys except one. So, um, and I saw something that that was kind of interesting. It was, like, Kawhi made, like, an imprint on the team, Mm -hmm. on the players. And so – I guess they like learned a lot from Kawhi's leadership type of thing. Thought that was kind of interesting. Which Kawhi. I guess when you're around like a great player like that, it will like make an impression on impression on you. Kawhi's right. just a very he has very interesting leadership qualities. I mean, it works everywhere he goes, but it's just different with something we've never seen before in a superstar. Yeah. Even though like his career numbers aren't that impressive, but he is a superstar. Mm. He's just got. Uh, yeah, um, presence type of thing. Um, but let's see. Um, and let's see, is the Raptors 
the deepest team in the NBA? Who's the deepest team in the NBA? Clippers, Heat, Raptors? It's got to be the Clippers. My fault. Probably Clippers. Um, yeah, I mean. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Back to the Raptors real quick. Uh, I, I was half tempted to, uh, like, bet with Cedric last night because the Celtics played the Raptors. Mm-hmm. And I'm – because I've been kind of, like, feeling the Raptors a little bit, but they got blown out by the Celtics. So, yeah. I, I saved mean, me five bucks. <laughs> the, the Celtics needed that game because they haven't been playing that great in the bubble. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I was, like – because I know Cedric would have accepted any bet against the Celtics. Um, but, let's see. who Who's on the Raptors? Uh, let's see. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. See, yeah, is, Fred- is Siakam going to be a top 10 player in the league in the future? Maybe a few years from now. Um, he's one of those guys that's, like, very, like, Kawhi-ish, where, like, his stats are just improving every year. And he like, doesn't say much. Yeah, it's true. And and it's, like, because it's like, um, he has a case for winning most improved player this year after last year. Yeah. Like he's gone from seven, he went from seven points to seventeen points last year. Now he's gone from seventeen to twenty three this year. Um, but they're not giving two. You, you can't give a back to back most improved player. Um, but why is there no Kyle Lowry MVP talk? Stop it. <laughs> but I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Stop it, man. Look. I love Kyle Lowry. He hustles. <laughs> he plays the game the right way. But I'm not putting Kyle Lowry in my MVP. I thought that. Um, but, uh, man, like Fred Van Vliet as well. He just bursted on the scene, like having that baby, and in the finals. Yeah, and like, it was, it was cra- just. Um, it was crazy how his like game changed as soon as his son was born. Mm-hmm. Um, there has to be something with like just confidence in that type of thing. Yeah, so the Raptors are definitely one of those interesting stories. 